हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द न्यू जंक्शन इंपैक्ट वीडियो गाइस वी ऑल नो द फोन टेन इज कमिंग द न्यू हाइड्रो रीजन इज कमिंग फर्स्ट वी हैव द मॉन्सर देन द ल्यू वे देन वी हैव द ड्रैगन स्पाइन देन इट इज द इन जूमा एंड देन इज द सुमेरू नाउ द फोन टेन इज कमिंग कमिंग हेयर समवेयर हेयर लाइक हेयर आप Before Fontaine, we're gonna get one more region, one more Sumeru region. Then we're gonna we're gonna get the Fontaine. The new Sumeru region will be, I guess, here. The Fontaine will be going to be somewhere here on the left, on the left of the Sumeru. Okay, guys. So it's gonna be connected with the Sumeru, like uh, uh, Mioyo already said that Inazuma is totally the separate island, and they are not connecting anything with the Inazuma, and that's the true. Now they're connecting uh, Fontaine with the Sumeru. That's the I'm coming, but we are not gonna talk about Fontaine here. But what we're gonna talk talk about in this video that you should complete these things before uh, the Fontaine. Uh, when the Fontaine is coming, that's gonna be very hard for you to complete all the things. But complete all the all these things before the 4.0 update, before the four Fontaine actually come. First of all, explore the areas like. If you feel playing so from very long time and e even if you are a new player and you haven't explored your monster to the 100 100 or even 90 90 it's it's the high time guys just explore your monster monster is the easiest to explore and uh, because monster is the smallest amongst all the regions it's literally this only this this is this is the only area that monster have then this is the inzu liwe and then inzu inazuma is very big and sumeru is compared to inazuma it's also very big so in my opinion just complete the monster guys explore every area every possible area of monster dragon spine everything then explore your inazuma including the chasm then your sumeru and then the inazuma if you are still not uh, if you if you are still not cope up with the story is complete the main story quest the arcon quest and the main world quest in the story quest unlock all your areas in azuma liwe chasm and sumeru because if your sumeru is still locked and if you haven't unlocked the inazuma and the chasm if then it's going to be very hard for you to play from 4.0 you cannot you can pull on the fountain characters de definitely but you cannot uh, you cannot able to you can't able to level up those characters like you need the materials you need the boss materials you need the herbs and all material they that all material is going to be only available in the fountain region so then it's going to be very hard for you it's going not hard it's literally impossible to upgrade your uh, uh characters the only thing you can do then then going into your f friends uh, uh, world killing bosses and collecting material from your friends world but i think that's the uh, lamest thing to do in my opinion just complete the whole story like first you have to do the monster story then the liwe story then the liwe from the liwe story is going to be the dragon spine story then from the dragon spine is going to be the inazuma story when you where you'll unlock the inazuma travel through boat travel from boat to inazuma with kazuo and baidu then from inazuma you're going to unlock the chasm chasm is going to be the very important thing here uh you can skip the inazuma part but you need to unlock chasm because after unlocking the chasm then you only uh, uh going to our uh, unlock the sumeru because chasm and sumeru is connected so if you want to unlock your sumeru you need to unlock chasm and if you want to unlock your fountain you need to unlock sumeru so it's all connected so guys what you can do just explore the areas uh, for me, uh, for it's very high time so elue and monster is are the regions that everyone should explore fully 90% at least minimum 90% you should all should explore monster and elue it's very high time and if you are very old player like you are playing genshin for more than 2 years your inazuma also should be explored 100 100 and 100 because it's a very high time there is not much to do in genshin rather exploring so if you are playing for like over 2 years you for like at least you should explore the areas because that's how the grinding and the gameplay of genshin impact is based on exploring and adventuring and then at least unlock every area of so sumeru like uh, this area then this area then this area then this area because it's all connected uh, 
and from here all here onwards like this last region the latest region uh, area the fountain will be unlocked will fountain will be connected here as i already told you so completing uh, all these regions compl completing the full story here like you can see i have no uh, archon quest or any quest is here it's just a small world quest that doesn't matter if you're still having a like these quests world quest and small quest that's on you if you want to complete those quests or not but at least complete the story quest and the archon quest for the part of uh, hangout events guys it's a it's like very big list hangouts there are very many hangouts in the game you should complete at least you know till yunjin you should at least complete uh uh quest till yunjin maybe because there are more are coming still uh, there's a two new uh there's a leila and kave and there are more are coming in the future four chess characters uh are hangouts so it's better to complete the hangouts now uh because when we got the font and we're gonna get the more four stars and five star characters in the game then they're gonna be a more story more deep stories more hangout events so then if it, then you will decide to complete all the things it's gonna be very headache and irritating part to do so so you got the time why i am recommending this now because there is no story nothing is going important going on important right now in the game the events are also very easy to do there is not much to do uh, these days in the game there is a new region in coming next update they are adding areas and areas new areas and areas they're adding more region into the game so it's high time now you should complete all this at least you should explore luven monster at full 100 percent and then you should unlock chasm and sumeru uh, then you only you gonna be able to unlock the fountain region so this is what i suggest you guys do the next thing guys you can do before the fountain you can grind for hp percent artifact we already know uh, hydro is always related to the hp percentage in the game when in inazuma dropped and the archon is uh, uh, we get the archon the electro archon and uh, electro is always is focused on the uh, your energy part and you'll see every character in the game is related to energy uh, in inazuma also and after that uh, many character uses the energy artifact that's the emblem and it's pretty cool but now in the game we already have some hp artifacts like the latest we got in the game is the this one this artifact is got 20 percent hp per boost and then elemental skill gives a damage boost to your character for five percent uh, five second donation also this i is this domain have hydro damage bonus artifact which is very very cool it is usable on many hydro characters so grind this domain this domain is very important for the fountain region i'm pretty sure when fountain drop many characters gonna be related to hydro damage and of course the hp percentage because h uh, hydro element is always gonna be are related to somehow with uh, hp percentage so grind this artifact guys that is gonna be very useful when we got the we go, we're gonna get the fountain region this artifact is literally very good it's also having the hydro four piece hydro damage artifact i am not sure if we're gonna get the third hydro damage uh bonus artifact in the game no i don't think we're gonna get the third hydro damage bonus artifact in the game this is the artifact in the game and we already have the two hydro damage bonuses artifact in the game so i don't think that we're gonna get the third one no there is no way yes so you can grind this artifact this artifact is going to be very very good in the future currently uh, none of the like not the many characters uses this artifact because uh, no one's fit with this kit but i'm pretty sure when the fountain drops this artifact is going to be very very good and this artifact is also going to be having a more more uh, you know visibility in the game this artifact is going to be very very good two pieces gives 20 percent hp and in four pieces gives elemental damage bonus for five seconds so guys grind this artifact complete all the story quests complete all the hangouts if you can uh, explore the areas at least explore the luan monster completely unlock your chasm unlock sumeru and grind this artifact so you're going to be ready for the fountain event when the fountain is going to be dropping and collect as much as uh, you know primo gems save your primo gems for the future character because uh, now there's no new character coming in the next patch in the 3.7 also we gonna we have no new character except the one force that is a kirara uh, 
in the 3.8 we are not getting any uh, new characters also and from the 4.0 we're gonna get the new characters the hydra icon and everyone so we're gonna get we're like it's super cool so complete all the monster complete relieve really unlock everything complete the story quest and the archon quest so you <sighs> that's then it's gonna be very easy for you to you know enjoy the fountain region so Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope travel. you like the video. It's a quick video, mm -hmm. an informative video that I want to share with you guys time. to do what you can do before the Fontaine uh, region. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, you can hit the like button and yeah, guys, you can share this video with a friend. You can subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video. Till then guys, bye bye. Take care.